Hello, hello, Rhythm, uh, Heine Bush. Oh, you're playing CSGO? <laughs> Dang, should I play CSGO? Should I start again? Just surprising a lot of people in the hobby who play CSGO. Uh, Remsky, Geo, hey, Generic Giraffe, the Eurasian Asian. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Go to Driver, hey, Irene. Um, and over at YouTube, we have Kiza Kong, Annyeonghaseyo, hey, Starf, Annyeong, M. Walig, Walig, hey, um, just give it a couple more minutes and then I'll start. Yeah, sorry, Gio. <laughs> Weekday streams are hard for me. That's why I've been streaming mostly on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the proper CA66 color? What do you mean? purple <laughs> no this is the well dark red but closer to brown I think as people have been saying I thought purple wasn't offered in the f no it was just kidding I lie you know I have yet to buy a purple board I need to get a purple board <clears throat> Silver white. <laughs> Why, what's wrong with the red? The burgundy. Yeah, I think so. The, the white, I think, is only available in the new round. Hey, Chubies. Oh, wow, watching from the East Coast. My volume is low considering other sounds you have been watching. Um, is that better? Geo? Put the mic a little bit closer. My volume is really low. Uh, let me see if I could bump it up. So you have your... Yeah, let me see if I could fix that for you guys. Is that better? Is that louder? Smidge better. I have everything blasted to a hundred. I don't know, on OBS it's clipping for me right now. So maybe it's a Twitch thing? Yeah, when, I, when, I, when I'm talking, OBS is... The volume's in the red. Let me know if it's clipping on the output. Okay. Yeah, so maybe it's an OBS or t Twitch thing. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I think it's just 
the way OBS or Twitch handles it. I do remember one stream where I just put everything as high as I could and it clipped like crazy. Okay, 8.50, I think that's a good time to start. So as you guys saw in the title, I'll be building today the CA66 with Novel Key's new cream switches. Hey NGB, glad you could make it. Andrew Wood, audio seems fine on YouTube. That is good to know. So I, I did unbox this in my previous stream. So here you go, cream switches. So these are what we're going to be using today. But I did not unbox the CA66. Yeah, and also a huge shout out to Novel Keys um, for allowing me to t play around with the first batch of samples. I am a little bit late to them. I think most of the people who got in on the first samples have already built and played around with it a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little bit late, but I, I am hoping to make a video for you guys. So there you go. This is what the unboxing looks like. How do we take this out? Yeah, so on stream, it probably looks brown. <laughs> Not gonna lie, in person, this looks brown too. <laughs> This definitely does, definitely looks more chocolatey than it does a dark red. But this is the CA66. So that is the gold badge. I got the gold badge and then I have the titanium badge here as well if I can get it out. Um, so I did get an extra brass and PCB. Breastplate and PCB combo. Ah, there we go. This is the titanium badge. But I will probably stick with the gold badge. I think the gold looks nicer with this brown, and it's also especially the brass plate, so yeah. Okay, so first question for you guys, should I go with this brass plate, this shiny brass plate or the, I think aluminum, I don't know what I ordered for the kit, but yeah, this is, I don't think it's stainless steel, I would have to open the case up, but for the sake of reviewing the cream switches, which plate do you guys want for linears brass 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 okay looks like pretty unanimously brass um c ping zero five volumes are a bit low really i raised it a little bit more than i do usually um Uh, I'm sorry, 83282xcaster Boris, thank you guys so much for the follow. Brass on the 66 with linears is super nice, says Zerpocalypse. Brass. I assume you have linears on other plates so that will be easy to review. I'd like to suck you brass, says Eric. Okay, yeah, I guess brass is the unanimous choice. Okay, so I need to take out this alu plate first. NGB PBT. <laughs> Generic straf. Any idea where I can get an Alps PCB for the salamander? Um, so the only TKL PCB that I know right now is from Liku. 
Um, I, I don't think it's in stock anywhere. You would have to either pray that he releases it again or maybe reach out to him. Yeah. The, there, there is a demand for an Alps TKL PCB right now. Shim Shady, welcome to the Key Boys Club. <laughs> 83282, are you going to sp swap the springs? Um, most likely. Just from playing around with it loosely, I didn't like the way it sounded right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to experiment a little bit, but so far from what I've read from other people, it, it feels okay, but the sound is kind of wonky. Zyman Ramirez from over at YouTube. Is this live? Yes, it is. Luan, isn't the CA66 kind of lights for its stature? Yeah, this is definitely not a heavy board. But, I mean, I think there's a misconception that heft is more premium and nicer. Um, I mean, which I can understand, you know, that's kind of how our technology, the tech market is kind of moving, you know. But, I mean, yeah, light doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's definitely a great board. I mean, the first round of this was extremely popular. Eric Doe, does the GH60 come with chable no it does not rhythm wax springs boy underscore pie hey it feels solid says apocalypse yeah it definitely feels solid the power of y'all glad you could make it ngb needs some sorbethane yeah i wish i had more <laughs> Okay, I didn't even notice this on the back. There is a engraving here. It says 66 AAC. What? Corniche? Oops. Pain 5 what do you think of the thick bezels on the new thing? Um, I'm guessing you're talking about the new round of CA66. I personally like this new forehead trend that's going on. Um, I mean, the meme hat right here has a forehead as well. I've been a long time real force user, so foreheads don't really bother me too much. Yeah. Um, Plexabyte and the power of Yogg. Thank you guys so much for the follow. Ooh, Zeo, hey, glad you could make it. <laughs> yeah, for those of you guys who missed the last stream, I did announce Zeo is now a sponsor of NK. My hands look purpley? Really? Um, it might be because of my blue lighting that I have on here. Or maybe this brown is throwing the color balance off more than it, it does usually. <clears throat> Sean Lorman from over at YouTube. Long time watcher, first time commenter. Yeah, your name sounds familiar. Glad you could stop by. Go to driver. Can I just say you look V sex god right now? <laughs> Thank you. Apocalypse Cornic Cornis is the word for the little shelf element on the front top. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. The power of Vog uh, Yog. Um, in case you missed the intro, I am putting in Novel Key's first batch of the cream switches. Grid 600 utilizes that space. Yeah, definitely interesting concept that Grid 600 is util um, introducing. Plexabyte, hey! NGB, Silent Telios, oh sh... Exclusive unboxing. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he gets on to making those. Okay, so this is just a bottom piece. Yeah, this definitely does not look red at all in person. Legit looks like a piece of chocolate. Let's 
So inside we have the first PCB that it comes with. Sir Apocalypse, your bottom anno is so much better than mine. Really? What issues did yours have? Generic Streff, what is the Nathan Kim opinion on soup dumplings? I love soup dumplings. <laughs> the homie 408, I think. What are your opinions on the cream? So I haven't played around too much with it yet. I've only just been playing with them loosely. Um, the palm on palm action is definitely very interesting. It has a kind of slick feeling almost like it's slightly wet but yeah I'm, I'm not really sure how to describe it yet um, the smoothness I would definitely rate as pretty smooth um, I would even say it's better than I would say it's at least as good as if not better than retold blacks right now Gochi driver, I thought you were going to say a piece of poop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is pretty poo colored. Um, Plexibite, that's how it shows up on my end too. Very chocolate. Yeah, in person, it does not look dark red at all. I used to make sound effects as a kid. A lot of the sounds you make bring me back to playing with G.I. Joe and Transformers. Oh, really? <laughs> that's interesting to hear one in a milli. Zeo PC looks like maroon. No, oh, I, I, I don't even... Uh, maybe. In person, I would definitely say it's brown. <laughs> you have on the inside of the bottom cover, you have a big splotch. Okay. Yeah, my... Anno... Looks pretty fine to me. So the little badge in the front here is held tight with a screw inside there. Externally though it's fine. Zeo PC, it's called XLB. Yeah, I might butcher it. Xiaolong Bao. I've had some pretty good ones in, I think, New York. Yeah. But when it's done right, it is pretty good. Soup dumplings, Pepe cheer. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. The Rajan Asian. Are you going to lube them at some point? Yes, I will. So I'm going to build it today, just stock. Um, just so I get some kind of initial stock feeling for it. I'll probably use it for about a week. Just daily drive it at work and at home. Um, and then I'm going to desolder it, lube it. Probably with either VPF 1514 or Trebosis 3204, rebuild it, use it for a couple days, and then try to get out a initial impressions video as soon as possible. Just got an 1814 batch number of retooled pins from Arrow, and they are smooth F NGB says. Yeah, I just also ordered 300 retooled blacks. Pretty good. Uh, we need to work on stabs first. Tony Ren, do you have a link to your music playlist? Good studying music. Uh, I do not. So I use I I use and pay for a royalty-free music service called Epidemic Sounds. Uh, it's not a public thing that I can share, unfortunately. 
Flexibite XA Chocolatier would look good on that. Yeah, it would. I unfortunately sold mine a while ago, though. Okay, so I'm guessing this is for the... Uh, this is the daughter board for the USB port. Well, that's pretty cool. So there's just five SMD LED components for the little strip here that'll light up later. Pretty cool. Um, this is what the PCB looks like. Looks pretty nice. There's a little... What is this? I don't know what this is. what the back looks like Trev C2 wonder how these compare to Telios I unfortunately have not tried Telios yet Barry boy 5566 is that the Barry who made this board I'm not sure. <laughs> if you are, I'm glad you could join in. Jay Renox from over at YouTube. What is your opinion on box jade switches? I like them. Um, I really liked box switches and navies. Or box jades and navies. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, not too big of a fan of na or clicky switches in general. Unless they're Alps. I love my Alps clickies. Okay, so these are just some leftover stabs that I have already pre-clipped, but I do need to lose them. Yeah, so lately I've been trying out 205 grade zero, and it has been pretty good for stabs. Pure Northern One. What is the purpose of Sorbethane versus Foam Liner? Wouldn't Foam Liner cut out the noise as well? Why both? Um, so the purpose of Sorbethane and Foam Liner... Um, so boards like the CA66, which kind of have a lot of just empty dead space inside the case. Um, it kind of makes your board sound a little bit hollow, depending on what switch you're using. So the, case, the point of filling that empty space up with something like foam liners or sorbethane is to reduce some of that hollowness and give you a nicer, uh, fuller sound. Um, but I mean, you could also take advantage of this hollow space by using something um, like a clicky switch, where, you know, clicky switches, in my opinion, improve with a little bit of resonance adds kind of a nicer, more pleasant, deeper tone. So yeah. Um, but I don't know what you mean by using both. Um, you could mix and match both, but they both serve the same purpose. Hey Monster Zero, glad you can make it. Barry boy, that's the PCB maker, okay. Oh, you are Barry, hey! Glad you could join in. Yeah, like I promised, I am build, finally building up the CA66. It's been out for a while, and I mean, even round two is happening right now, so I am pretty behind on this, as well as some of my other kits. But, uh, yeah.
J Renox, would you consider doing a build with box jades? Um, yes. Once they, f once they um, once vendors start getting the new batch of box switches that have the stems fixed. Trev C2, I didn't find lube improved Telios much. Factory lube was good. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like a lot of people do lube their Telios still. Sound is just much better when you lube Telios TBH, says Salier IMH. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like lube improve. Just kidding. I mean, that is subjective. I personally like and prefer the sound of lube switches over unlubed switches. Spar sick. Could you give a comparison of box navies to buckling spring? So I unfortunately sold both my navies and jades immediately as the box gate stuff happened so i don't have my navies anymore ngb r2 is bluetooth i believe yes it is um it will also be compatible with the r1 cases so for anyone who joined in on the first round if you want to upgrade your pcb and get that additional bluetooth functionality um, you guys can order just the new PCB on Play Keyboards, I believe. Barry's in chat, so he probably can explain it better. <laughs> Ryan. L from over at YouTube. Novel Keys had new jades out. Okay, yeah, guess I'll hit up Novel Keys for some jade switches then. I found the navies a little bit too heavy, so I probably won't be getting navies again. And going for the jades. TBH, if the creams are only as smooth as retold blacks but sound worse, they're a pass. The Asian Asian. Um, so th the only reason why I said that is because it's been a while since I used retold blacks stock. I mean, it's, it's been a while since I used any switch stock. Um, so yeah, from what I've from what other people have said so far, they are definitely pretty smooth. I haven't tried Telios, so I can't compare it to Telios. Punch, hey. Do an acrylic build with jades. Yeah, I, I definitely need more acrylic boards.
The power of Yogg, you like your switches just a little scratchy. That's interesting. Um, personally, if I could have no scratch, I would take that. But I, I, I am a person who's willing to sacrifice some smoothness for a better sound. Hey baby feet, glad you could make it. Um, the homie 405, do you have a favorite 3 or 5 switches right now? Yeah, I guess that a lot. I get asked that a lot and every time I do, lately I've been saying um, the top 3 the top three switches would be um, Brown Alps, Topra 55 grams, and Either Vintage Blacks or Holy Pan... No, Vintage Blacks over Holy Pandas, yeah. If you were to extend it to the top 5 switches, I would add on um, SKCM Blue Alps and probably... Probably SKCC Greens. J Renox, would you know what would be the best loop for box, navy, and jade switches? Um, I would say go with something thicker is what I've heard because box switches tend to, you know, kind of clean themselves out. So if you go too light, it might just end up coming out of your switch. So I think people have been saying go with something thicker. But yeah, like... Um, I think someone else said in chat, I don't generally lube my clicky switches. <sighs> Mafia Butter, just popping in for a quick question. Anyone know when the creams are going to go on sale? Um, sometime this year, relatively soon, there is going to be a second batch of samples slash revisions that Mike is going to be doing with these. And then I believe shortly after they should be available for sale, public sale. Punch, what headphones do you use? Um, I'm currently using the Sennheiser HD 6XX. Should I go split backspace or normal backspace? Oh, the generic giraffe and chubies. Thank you guys so much for the follow. <sighs> High or low viscosity for silent switches, says Edgar Edward Kanger over at YouTube. Um, personal preference. Um, a thicker lube will help with silencing a bit more, though, if that's what you're looking for. Baby feeds its sleep, but I'm listening in bed. Ooh, nice. Generic giraffe. Rip SKCM greens. I haven't tried SKCM greens, so I can't say I like it. The, the price for it is way too strong. The Rajan Asian. For linears, do you think it makes sense to lube the tactile leaf too, or just the switch leg as far as that contact point is concerned? Um, you know, I've honestly never tried lubing the contact leaf itself, but I would imagine the leg is just enough. Um, it would seem kind of a waste to lube the entire contact switch when all that's really making contact is that little piece of the leg. Yeah, I, I haven't experimented with that too much. Teslatron, hey, glad you could make it. Hope. The Lumina is going well. For those of you guys who don't know, Teslatron is the maker 
and mastermind behind the ongoing or the currently live um the currently live lumina 60 percent keyboard the first board made with corian i would highly encourage you guys to go check it out Nobo Tick need palm jelly keycaps to release again. Yes, we do. <laughs> I am so sad I found out about palm too late. You know, Zeal used to sell palm keycaps. Maybe if enough of you guys bug him, he could start bringing it back. Nebulant, normal on a 65%. Teslatron, split backspace 100%. Normal, normal, normal. NGB, HD66, best all around headphone. Yeah, I've been liking it. Um, I haven't dived too deep into the audio file hobby yet. Yeah, I, I would like to, but I can't fund both the audio and keyboard hobby, unfortunately. NGB says split, the homie 408 says split, okay, punch, I like my splits backspace a lot more. Juan in a milli says normal. Punch, how many boards do you currently have on hand? So I've actually sold off a lot of my customs. I've been trying to downsize my customs count and I've kind of diving deep into the vintage hole right now. Um, but including, including vintage boards, I would say around 20 or 30. Generics draft the limit approaches infinity. <laughs> I wish. Pleb the turtle. Doesn't KBD fans have palm keycaps? Yes, they do. Um, they're actually not that bad. But the original ones are noticeably better. But the KBD fans definitely are not bad at all. I have a set myself. The only issue is compatibility. Which was also an issue with just the normal OG palm caps as well. Brian Shelley from over at YouTube says, Did you mean Cream Alps or the Novel Keys come out with a cream switch? Yep, Novel Keys did and they are called the cream switches. There you go. If it focuses. These are the new all palm cream switches that Novel Keys is trying to bring to the market. Audio get more monies. Chimichangas or burritos? Oof, chimichangas. I mean, sorry, burritos all the way for me. Burritos are easily one of my top foods to eat. I think I eat at least one burrito a week. Gochi driver, did you sell your HHKB? No, I didn't. That is a board I probably will take with me to my grave. Uh, 
Um, all my internet, thank you so much for the follow. In Sovereign, with another donation. Another stream, he says. Thank you so much, man. I'm glad you could join it despite the time difference. The power of Vyog. Yes, I actually do. Um, I know everyone doesn't want to add another Discord channel slash server on the sidebar. Um, but I do have one. I will most likely be using it as a means of communication slash build services. But um, yeah, you're free to hang out there. Generic Strat, favorite Topra board. Oof, I'm probably gonna have to say my HHKB High Pro. The homie 408, what's the best way to get 55 gram Topra? Um, either just hope someone's selling 55 gram domes on the aftermarket or harvest it from a 55 gram real force. I see Kitsune. I wonder how palm on palm on palm will sound. Oh, that's a great idea. I can do that. Well, does OG palm support the HHKB bottom layout for MX? That is something I should definitely do. Um, I need to do another 2.5. Soul Taco. Okay, I think I've heard of those baby feet. Yeah. You know, Korean Korean Mexican fusion food is actually pretty good. <laughs> Remski, from what I've heard, cleaned kale palms feel like a good batch of retold cherry. Okay. Yeah, so far from what I've gathered from other um, reviewers who have gotten the batch and played around with it more than I have. Um, it's definitely a different feeling, the palm on palm, but it doesn't sound like it's like amazingly better than something like a Telio, let's say, which I haven't tried, but you know, a Telio switch is kind of like the, uh, a benchmark for smoothness for linears right now. Yeah. Wiz Blue. Very good color choice, NK. Do you mean for the C66? Um, Clayton Jews and Agu. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I see Kitsune. No. Okay, I can at least put it on the alphas. It's not like I use. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I guess maybe Spate. Spacebar, I would have to make it off-center, right? Or does it even support 6.25? C-Ping, Silence X-Rings or hypers Hyperspheres? Um, I would do... I would say Hyperspheres sound better than Silence X-Rings. But if you want to preserve the feel, Silence X-Rings, definitely. Chubies, this is so interesting, but EST time. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Um, streaming on weekdays is a bit rough for me. Yamato 2K 2K or 2K2. Where's the Poly Singa? The Poly Singa is unfortunately not my board. I it was a commissioned build, so it is long gone and in the hands of its rightful owner. Palm plates when for full palm feels, the Raging Asian says. <laughs> Kogi trucks are popular still, yeah. Kevin Lamb. Hey, it's still pretty early on in the stream. I haven't done much. Still working on my stabs.
The Raisin Asian? No, I have not. I will give that a... I will check it out after stream. I don't know, I'm very skeptical of Korean food up in NorCal though. Base bar needs to be off center and then caps lock has to be stepped. Okay, I see. At least for the alphas, I can just do a typing test, just 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 the alphas. I think that'll be interesting to hear. Sloppy underscore zero zero. That sweater, um, I wear it in my salamander review. So you can go check out that video. It's unfortunately a little bit too hot to wear a sweater right now, so can't wear it for you on stream. <laughs> I can send over a few caps tomorrow if you want for a full build of the typing test. It'll look a bit whack though. No, I mean that's, that's honestly fine. No need to pay uh, for unnecessary shipping for that. But thank you for the offer. <laughs> Kevin Lamb, any thoughts on the cream yet? Not too much. I haven't played around with it built yet, obviously. Um, smoothness, it's definitely there. There's potential. Um, sound, I'm, I'm still not sure what I feel about sound yet. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the palm on palm sliding action. There's a, it's a note, it's like a nuanced difference from just your normal switches. Oh no, the music stopped. Why did Cherry insist on offset space? Don't ask me. <laughs> the rate or I see Kitsune. Who knows, I guess they didn't really have any competition. Yamato 2K2, top 3 MX style switch. Okay. Vintage Blacks, Holy Pandas. Ooh. Vintage Blacks, Holy Pandas. The third one. Mm. MX Silence. Cleaning up a little bit. Um, gotta test the stabs.
that. This is the wrong plate. This is the plate we want. This shiny brass plate. Curie, what lube am I using for my stabs? They are Crytox 205 grade zero. Would the method he's using now be better for silence versus the method in the guide video? Um, no, they both achieve the same purpose. It's just a new lube that I have been trying out and I have been liking it a lot. Plex bite. I was about to say if your answer wasn't MX Islands. <laughs> yeah, MX Islands. Some people find them a little bit mushy. I actually really like MX Islands. I have I have some boards lined up to build with them, just missing some parts for the builds. So I don't I haven't decided what switches to put on yet. I just grabbed GMK Cyan just to test it out. Oh, my phone's ringing. Kiza Kong, how do we feel about MX Island? Oh, okay, I just answered that. NGB, yeah, Ergo clears pretty good tactiles too. Although I'm personally not that crazy for Ergo clears, they are nice though. what you sent me I see kits in it. Is this the same layout you have avail available for your kit? To be honest I am not sure what is available with my kit. <laughs> I was intending to put it on a 75% at some point like you did. So yeah I don't have any 75% on hand so it's just kind of been sitting waiting for that right 75% to come. Xylance are best silent switches out there, but have to lube. Yeah, definitely agree. Whoa, yeah, my... Huh, what is up with the color balance? <laughs> it picks up the... Blue on my meme fine but yeah <laughs> yeah, you can definitely hear that spring Something about the springs is very wonky. Oh yeah, it does look fine here. <laughs> fine to me 
So I will go to the soldering. Yeah, I'm not sure why my camera is not pick is picking up cyan like that. <laughs> we'll definitely have to play around with the white balancing later. Danger Bob from over at YouTube. Hey, Noble Tick, have you tried any of the replica Topra switchboards like Plum? I have not. Mega Bulgogi over at YouTube. Hey, how are you on YouTube and not Twitch? Not that it matters, but you seem like a Twitch kind of person. So far though, this plate, top notch quality. I don't even think I have to worry about straightening um, the stabs because when I put it in, it, it just kind of snapped in really snugly. So good job Barry with the plate if you're watching. This is the kind of plate I like to build with. Ooh, Mega Force switching over to Twitch. It's over, guys. How's the PCB mount pins on the creams? Are they snug, tight like G Gatorons, or loose like Otemu's? Um, I'm having no trouble pushing them in, honestly. I think it's just the right tolerance. Let me give you a close-up. Oh. oh, have I been zoomed in this whole time? Yeah, not too tight, not too loose. Noble tick. Oh, what did I miss from you? Um, yeah, I would recommend lubing Topra. Uh, Topra definitely shines once you lube them. Simple Life from over at YouTube. Hey, glad you can make it. Danger Bob, you're gonna do a typing test of this bad boy. Of course I will. I will do a typing test of it unlubed and lubed. Um, I'm not sure how many people will be interested in the sound test of it unlubed, but just to put it out there, not everyone lubes their switches, so. Generics Draft, what's your go-to lube for Topra? So I like thicker lube for Topra. Um, when lube options were slightly smaller, I used to use the thick lube that Elite Keyboards sells. Or what is it, is it Mech Lube 2 or something? Elite, Elite Keyboards sells some kind of lube. Um, that's the one I used for a while. I've tried Trebosis 3204 and I've been really liking it.
Yeah, 3204 is a good loot for Topra. Remski, I think everyone should try to lube their switches though. Wait, never mind, then I would go out of business. Keep on not lubing, guys. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, I actually left my Real Force. So the Real Force 104 was the first Topra board that I bought. I used it stock for like two years. Um, and then I lubed it and I was, I was like, wow, why did I not do this earlier? Cody Lim from over at YouTube, have you encountered any close calls some melting parts of the switch while soldering? No, I, I haven't soldered these yet. <laughs> I will try to shortly and hopefully hoping that I don't break any. Okay, so this bottom row seems a little bit tighter. X caster Boris, will you do a Topra lubing guide? Yeah, you know, surprisingly a lot of people ask that. There's this one video on YouTube that gets shared a lot whenever asks that, whenever asked that, uh, which is a pretty good guide. But uh, I do intend to make one in the future. Jayun, hey, glad you could make it on stream. Heine Bush, I made a heat test video. TLDR, they're fine as long as you don't actually contact the housing with the tip yeah, yeah Heine I believe was like the first one to upload any video regarding the novel switches he made a pretty informative and entertaining video of himself melting one of these cream switches so yeah go definitely go check that out <laughs> Cody Lim yeah this is my first build um, Have you compared Gateron yellows and box blacks? So no, I haven't. I have tried Gateron yellows. I haven't tried box blacks. Kim Yunsu from over at YouTube. Hey there. How do the unlubed cream switches feel? They feel pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Uh, I'm curious as to how they'll feel with lube. You know, honestly, for some people, like this might even suffice without lube, to be honest. Like like the way the palm and palm slide against each other is it's a noticeably like different kind of feeling, I guess. I mean it's yeah. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe it yet. Someone needs to come up with like a set way to describe what this feeling is like. Generics draft. I'm already hyped for the loop bill. <laughs> Topa loop guide. Um, Destro Desu Troyer. Thank you so much for the follow. Jayun. Are these creams supposed to be linears? Something to compare maybe against Telios? Um, yes, these are linear switches. Um, I don't know if they're meant to directly compete with Telios per se, but um, the, what's new about these line new linears is that um, it's entirely made out of a material called palm. NGB, Heine Bush melted the fac out of them. Yeah, he did. <laughs> okay, so I always ask this question on stream. Do I go stepped or normal caps lock? That hand thing, yes, kale is the manufacturer for these.
stepped every time. Oh, stepped winning unanimously today. Guess I will go stepped then. No step, stepped ISO enter. No, no ISO for me. <laughs> Savage non HHKB control user. Yeah, actually, well, on the HHKB, I do have that toggled on. Oh, I'm stupid. I put a cap key here when I shouldn't have. Oof, I had two switches left. Yeah, with the exception of the pipe key, I don't think the mods need much straightening. Like this plate has a really nice tolerance to it. I don't know if someone could vouch for it, but... Curie, I just saw you were in the buy for the TCV3. Do you have any ideas for the left and right hand sides? Because they support to you keys uh, I'm not sure what you're asking um, but I think the intent for those left and right keys were you know kind of macro style keys or function keys something you do yeah I think what duck said was the inspiration for that is be for his work that is his ideal layout because he can program macros and whatever functions he needs on those side keys Suitman, Model or from over at YouTube, how are they compared to a Model M? Are you talking about the Switch? They are very different. <laughs> Rhythm, Duck ran out of layouts to make so he just added some 2U keys and shit on the sides and sold it. <laughs> you know, I, I personally liked the look of the TCV3. 200 IQ. Full right shift ISO is the weirdest looking thing. If someone's a first time Topra buyer, do you recommend the HHKB in terms of layout, says Gochi Driver? Ooh, that is a good question. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if that is a better layout. It depends on what you're coming from. That's a good question. Either the HHKB or RealForce 87U. Mm. Yeah, I mean, HHKB definitely takes some getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's actually really nice. I'd say if you are if you come from using a full-size keyboard, maybe a 87U might be a better, like a TKL might be a better step. If you wanna go full-on HHKB, it's definitely a popular layout in this community. Dun, dun, dun. 
opulent what's your twitch um if you go to my channel homepage on the top right hand corner there should be a little twitch icon which links you to my twitch oh also i finally got a fan for soldering um, the cable is a little bit short and sorry it might get loud but i am taking care of my health I see Kitsune, unless you're willing to learn a new layout, I would just go for real force. Yeah, I mean a TKO is definitely more manageable for someone new than an HHKB. chat went along <laughs> k nazi hello young name hey um slur deep thank you so much for the follow oh you're opulent okay hey nice switching over generics giraffe by the way does anyone know when the duck orion v3 will be um yeah it's all up in the air he hasn't officially said anything regarding it but in the comments of one of his Instagram posts, he said he will he's intending to run it after the TCV3 concludes. Um, whether he meant immediately after or just sometime after, it wasn't clear from what his comment said, but yeah. I my guess would be that it would definitely run sometime this year. Um, and the TCV3 it's been a while since I paid for it, so I'm hoping it's shipped soon, which means I would say that Orion V3 will run uh, by November at the latest. Okay, Nazi, did you lube the novel keys cream switches? No, I did not. I'm going to build a stock for now and then lube it later. Trev C2, thank you so much for the follow. HHKB for life. What's your preferred layout for programming development? Um, you know, I so currently at work, I have been daily driving the Duck Lightsaver V3. Um, the numpad I honestly don't need for programming, but um, I don't know. I personally like having dedicated arrow keys, so I would say TKL for me. Kenyans, hi there Nathan. Oh, 안녕하세요. From over at YouTube. Thanks for the tips. I'll go check it out. Nice. Okay, you were asking, do I have a personal layout in mind for my TCV3? Uh, I don't know yet. So I, d I do do photo slash video editing. So I will probably program some form of macros for those programs at least. But yeah, I haven't really thought too much about the TCV3. It's been kind of left unupdated. So we'll see. And sorry if it gets loud. I'll try to solder as quickly as I can. Oof, the fume extractor is working as intended. How far can it suck from?
Okay. I think I I tried to speed solder it, so you guys don't have to hear the fan for so long. Let's catch up on chat. Oh, there's a lot. Slur deep. Mm, need that. Need them arrow keys to play Maple Story. Oh yes. Maple Story. Your coworkers have custom KBs too. Uh, no, actually, I don't think. Oh, just kidding. One person in my office uses the Kinesis. Yeah. KBD Labs has eight thirty one for their ship date for the deduction. Rhythm soldering speed run. Yeah, I tried to do it a little bit faster than I normally do because of the fan. Kinions, please check the message of Discord after their broadcast. That Contrick, hey! I'm sorry I missed your stream. I watched the beginnings of it and then I had to stream <laughs> so I could start playing with these cream switches. Contrick, damn, and Kim stealing all the viewers. <laughs> you had you had a lot of good viewers when I was watching. Kane Nazi, do you know? Uh, da -da -da. Da -da -da. Should go all out with a Metcal fume extractor spar success. Aren't those like a couple grand? If those are what I think they are. Pooey from over at YouTube. Hey Nathan, bro, where do you think I could buy like specific keys and colors and PBT? Uh, that's hard. Um, I don't pimp my keyboard. Do they do PBT? I'm not sure. But if you're looking for colors and PBT, I would either look for a ePBT set, but otherwise there aren't too many options out there right now. I see Kitsune. Topra is a bit awkward for gaming. Having the bump of Topra at the end kind of messes with your inputs. You know, I gamed heavily with Topra. Maybe that explains why my rank was low, or maybe I'm just bad. But I didn't f see any problems with it. But I, I do type kind of on the heavier side, so maybe that's why I wasn't having the issue you're talking about. A girl from over at YouTube. Hey, glad you could join the stream. Nobotic, I just hate hate the plum build quality. I haven't felt one. I can say that the real force quality is probably nicer. Um, I think there was an interest check for a custom case for the plum and like the Nopra, no? Lily Milan, hey, thank you so much for the follow. Suitman, does the profile of the keycaps affect the sound? Yes, it does. It affects the sound more than you might think, actually. Quantric, don't forget to lick your fingers when you are done. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did eat the switch when you told me to, but I, I can't lick my fingers. <laughs> Slur deep, now you need the Hing Hing Hong Hong Springs, bruh, new wave. Alex, sure, how's the smoothness of the cream switches and what weight are the springs? I'm not sure what the spring weight is. As for the smoothness, they're... It's a lot of potential. Um, I, I've built it stock right now, so curious as to how it'll feel when lubed. Actually, yeah, I just, Quantrix says one person in the office uses the Kinesis, and then there's another one, there's another, sorry, coworker who also uses the Ergodox. Um, Sorry, I lied. There, there are a couple, but they're not customs, but um, I have a, not, my cubicle mate uses a DOS keyboard. And then I also know someone else. Not sure what board it is, but he does have clears in his switch, in his keyboard. Andrew Wood, what diameter solder are you using? Um... I honestly forgot which one I bought, but it is this one. 
from Kester. Keister, Kester. Generic Straff, what is your CSGO rank? So it's been a while. I mean, I've, I haven't played in like two or three years now. But at my peak, I was in Op main. Um, and my rank was LEM at my peak. Op main. Contract, do you work at the same office as me? <laughs> we just never knew each other. The Eurasian Asian, I've heard cat wee wee springs are lighter than advertised and they only go to 80 grams, so they're probably not for me. Yeah, um, I don't know if she came out with like an official statement saying they are, but at least anecdotally, I think almost everyone has been claiming that they are lighter than advertised. Gochi driver, LEM. Still too light for you. 80 grams is light for you? Wow. Actually, yeah, I whatever what whatever split board you brought to the Norcal meetup. It was on the heavier side, I think. Okay, let's get the daughter board plugged in. Those were chalk jades, okay. The 150 gram blackboard, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. I do remember typing on that. Yeah, and then also someone also brought the the mega black as a loose switch, I think, to the NorCal mini meetup, and that was that was insane. <laughs> You set a personal best typing test on them. What? Your personal best is with 150 grams? It's kind of ridiculous. I need a Snickers. Thank you so much for the follow. Alright, moment of truth. LEDs are all... I think they're working. It looks like it's just cycling through. Computer did detect them. Uh, okay, switch hitter is up now. My guy does bent trip <laughs> with his fingers, yeah. Hmm, these two are not working. It's 
definitely soldered in. Is one of these a... Uh... Oh, does it toggle? Okay, so it looks like this key toggles... LED? Modes? Okay. Not sure what this button's for. Hmm. Maybe this is for... If Barry's in chat, maybe he can tell me what this is. Maybe it just might not be programmed in. But uh, it's not an important key. The keys I need are working. And I'm going to be desoldering this and rebuilding it anyway, so... Slur deep. Let me sub on Twitch. Um, I wish I could accept subs. I am unfortunately not a an affiliate yet. So, can't sit, take subs or bits, but if you would like to, you, you're more than welcome to donate on the PayPal link that I have uh, linked on the side. Flipped space is life. Yes, I am a flipped space user. Tonk tonk, those two are LED settings, if you recall, from Huey's streams. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, I need to take out the screws first from the daughter. Kim Yunsu from over at YouTube. What is the name of the program you are using now? It is called Switch Hitter. That is the program that I am using right now. It is available free for download over at um, Elite Keyboards, I think. I ain't about using it unless the board is super tall or I'm using monster weight switches. How is everyone's night going? Thank you guys for watching me on a random Wednesday night. Kinyons from over at YouTube. Key tester, key 말씀 하시는 건가? Ah, uh, 네. Um, switch hitter이라는 프로그램인데요. Elite Keyboard에서 다운 받을 수 있어요. Um, for those of you guys who don't understand Moon Runes, they were just asking about the program I use for switch testing again. Hydro Flask sponsorship. <laughs> I wish. I do love their products. Generic Straff. Wow, you're still up watching the stream. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so I just installed the daughter board for the USB C port here. And then I'm just going to bolt in the plate now. Jonathan Durham from over at YouTube. That case looks awesome. Thank you so much. The round two is going on right now. So if you do like this, now is a chance to grab it.
Oh, Geo, you're still up? Wow. <laughs> Thank you for st staying up. I don't know if you're watching up to watch my stream or you have other things to do, but I'm glad you're still here. I need a Snickers. Totally not using this stream to procrastinate. Depends on what you're procrastinating for. Totally not playing. Oh, how are you playing Overwatch and s watching my stream at the same time? Generics Giraffe, I'm listening to the Nathan Kim builds to study relax too as I type up my bullet biology notes. I took biology my freshman year of high school and never again have I touched biology. Better than lo-fi any day. Ooh, I like lo-fi too though. He watches your stream when he dies, which is most of the time. <laughs> so he gets to see a lot of the stream. <laughs> you know, I, I tried playing Overwatch. I don't know, I don't I don't enjoy it as much. I'm much of a C I'm much more of a CSGO person, to be honest. Jayun, I will try to host you next time if you're streaming while I end. Oh, sweet. That will be awesome. Didn't know you were a streamer yourself. What do you stream? Do you stream keyboard builds as well? Jonathan Durham, is there an ETA on the Cream release yet? Uh, I don't think any finalized date yet. So here's the piece of poop or chocolate bar, depending on how you want to see it. Yeah, so just to show you guys how much empty space there is. Um, the PCB is sitting flush right now. So there's like all this. Uh, how can I demonstrate this? There's roughly about, like, let's say this much of empty space in the case. Invisibility, how are the creams? I still haven't, I haven't finished building yet. <laughs> Um, but at least when I was playing around with the uh, stabs when I was making sure there was no rattle The the springs still sounded might even might have even sounded worse to be honest But I don't know if that's because I'm using a brass plate and building it in something hollow like the CA 66 or because The springs itself just need some work Coin Nguyen, wow weekday stream. Hey, I love coin Nguyen. Oh shoot I need a Snickers. I played CSGO until I found out about Rainbow Siege 6. Yeah, that's a good game too. Franco Colon from over at YouTube. I've never caught one of your streams live before. It's morning time here in Germany. Love the channel. Thank you so much. I'm glad you could tune into one of these. Um, this is a this is definitely a later stream for us folks here in the US. Jayun, you you are a StarCraft streamer. Oh wow. 
Starcraft 1 or 2? I, I too had my Starcraft days when I was younger. Like a true Korean. Okay, so here it is assembled with the cream switches on a brass plate in the supposedly dark red but more like burgundy or brown CA66. Remski, you could just fill the entire case with foam. Yeah, I probably will off stream. Um, yeah. I mean, I did build it with linear, so probably would sound better once I fill it up. Coin one. Why you hate me, dude? I love you, man. Way of Bankai, why are you not putting liner to fill in the hollow space? I, I will. I just. For now, to, to keep the stream short, I will not. Okay, so key sets. There's a couple choices today. We have GMK Burgundy. Or GMK Coniferous. Or GMK Honeywell. Or GMK muted with the red and green accents. Or GMK pristine. Which set should I put on? Oh, I also forgot. There's GMK TA Royal Alpha. Or sorry, GM GMK Triumph Adler, sorry. Everything I sell on Mech Market goes to paying for my Fortnite skins, says Icy Kitsune. Oh no, that is not good. <laughs> what, what happened now? How is playing FPS games on a trackball mouse feel good music? So I only recently switched to the trackball. I used to game with the Logitech MX Performance mouse. Fool's Gold Burgundy for sure. Oh wow, chat. I am really behind on chat, sorry. <laughs> Honeywell, Burgundy, Burgundy, Muted, 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 GMK Olivia. I wish I had that. Muted. Da -da -da. Coniferous, Honeywell or Pristine, 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 Burgundy, Burgundy, one of the two Honeywell, Burgundy. Oh, okay, someone made a straw poll. Burgundy, EPBT, Pristine, Pristine, Way of Bankai. Um, okay, I'm checking the straw poll right now. It is a one to one. T oh, Muted just winning. Looks like Muted is still in the lead right now. Go vote on the straw poll, everyone. Oh, okay, Burgundy taking the lead now. I think Burgundy wins. Uh, time to put all this back. Oh, th I've, I haven't even opened this Burgundy set yet, guys. You guys get to see the, the, the opening of a brand new GMK set. Should I just I'm just gonna rip it open with my nail. Ooh. Flip. You guys wanna see it like this or like this? No, like this. 
generics. Do you have the Hangugo alphas? So I did buy the alphas. I don't think it's shipped yet though, right? There's a brand unopened GMK set. Everything is a flip if you're brave enough. Yeah, I mean, Burgundy is an underrated set in my opinion. I'll definitely be keeping my Burgundy. Flip space bar. I wish Pristine had that box delete key. No, box delete key is the worst. Don't know why you would want that. The Asian Asian. Chisong O oh, from over at YouTube. 다들 여기 계시군요. 안녕하세요. Oh yeah, this board. I mean, I have my headphones on playing with music. Definitely going to fill this up later. Duration Asian unsub by box delete key. I'm guessing you mean the Xbox, right? Yeah, that that is the worst. That is the worst of the. Box delete, proper delete. Actually, yeah, actually, I take that back. It's not that bad. Um, as for whether Burgundy will stay on this, I'm not sure. I do have a Red Alice coming in soon. Um, I am considering putting Burgundy on that, but we'll see. We'll see. That nipples keycap LMO nipples. <laughs> I feel personally attacked right now, says the Asian Asian. Oh, I missed a chat. Chisong O from over at YouTube. Yejun C A sixty six er Kumeheba Sonende R Tunen Yoro Gajiro Keson Dwen Jomi Mana Boineo. Keson Dwen Jomi Ke Buntishio. 죄송해요. 한국말을 잘 못해서 이제 That's right. Press those keycaps up. I bought into R1 but never managed a blackboard. You definitely need at least one blackboard. Come on, I see Kitsune. How can you not have a single black board? Oh crap. Uh, stepped caps lock. I feel the red on CA66 is too dark for burgundy. Gotta stay pale for the K honeys. Yes, K honeys definitely like the pale look. ABS keycap, sudden zenith. Yep, these cost one dollar to make, and then GMK flips them for hundred twenty. GMK is the ultimate flipper, guys. Kinyan's Kesson jump be improved. Ah, there. Um, R two no inje Bluetooth kening ikuyo. There. There are some improvements. Definitely. I save my American bleach for drinking. I see Kitsune. I'm reserving my a black for my last last board. You say? Are you truly achieving that last end game board? Like a feel pro, if I imagine. K Mac happy, K Mac happy. Okay, Jonathan Huang from over at YouTube. Blackboards are like the most boring thing. 
No, most of my boards are black. I love black boards. NK Leaks? Hey, ADXLK. Glad you could join in. I wish there were PBT keycaps as nice as GMK. Berry boy, you're back. Yeah, I finally built it up. Um, if you missed it, the plate, I really like the plate. I like the, the tolerance on it. And then, um, how, yeah, I like, I didn't even have to bother straightening the keys. It's pretty straight. This is a plate that I like to see, that I would like to see other manufacturers do. I mean, it does support ISO and, did it support ISO enter? I could be wrong. But I mean, it supports splits backspace. But even that didn't have to stable or straighten it out too much. It just works. So good job on the plate, Barry. <laughs> Anyone getting the red samurai caps? I didn't join it in on red samurai. I but I, I did like that set. Um, I think it was running at the same time as Burgundy R2, and I really wanted the Korean alphas, so that's why. I did not join in on that. Swap backslash with backspace mod. Uh, do I have... Is there a backspace... There is no backspace mod. Generics draft. I love Black Boys NJ 2018. Who that? Very boy looks dope. I will watch the VOD. Yes, please do. I see Kitsune, my most. Oh crap. My most anticipated set is GMK Shoko. Yeah, so that's a set I'm looking to forward a lot as well. Waiting on Taro to need a blackboard for that. I did not join in on Taro, unfortunately. GMK Shoko renamed to GMK Mike Palms, by the way. What? What does that mean? Pipe is an alpha, by the way. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have the black pipe key in this set. Yep. Oh crap, I forgot the side keys. Uh, let's see, what are these? GMK mic creams. Third from left row. Third from left, last row on tray. Oh, this. Eh. Nah. Nah. Short typing test before you go. Invisibility. Okay. Uh, let me turn my music off. Okay. Short typing test. Yeah, definitely a hollow boy, as Heine Bush says. <sighs> Jerry Knox, what are your thoughts on GMK Metaverse, and will you get any of the f get any for future builds? Um, so I I do like Metaverse, but unfortunately, as you guys just saw, I have too many GMK sets still lying around, so I don't think I will be joining. Metaverse. I haven't honestly joined many group buys this year. Yet. Yeah. The only... Yeah. 
Yeah, but I mean, metaverse looks nice though. There's there's been a need for another black or a, a um, Kisa with that color scheme. <clears throat> Yep, definitely needs liner. Um, like the space bar sound. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I have my headphones on, so I couldn't tell too much. Um, thoughts on GMK Modern Dolce? Oh, yeah, so that set also looks really nice. I don't own any Dolce sets yet. So that is definitely one. If I had to choose between Modern Dolce and Metaverse, I will choose Modern Dolce. But Met Metaverse is a great set too. And I I think it's Dead Encryption who's running it. He's a great and awesome guy as well. Are you gonna join Mr. GMK Mr. Sleeves add-on kit? Nah. <laughs> I need a Snickers. There needs to be more dark purple themed sets. You know, I'm not that big of a purple fan as much as purple gets raved about in this hobby. El Frackno, thank you so much for the follow. What about Space Cadet? Yeah, Space Cadet is nice too. But yeah, you know, as for GMK sets, I have so many. I've just only, I've been trying to be responsible and only buy sets that like really stood out to me. Um, in my opinion, like the SA version of Space Cadet, whatever the original thing is, that one looks really, nice um but the gmk version doesn't you know stand out to me as much as it does on the essay i think i think i think space cadet is a set that looks much better on the essay profile than it does as a gmk set but yeah it's once again that's another great colorway So I put scroll lock here, but there's a cool little the focuses. There's a cool little KBD lab key that I will put on here. Unsubbed, not purple boy enough. <laughs> You need a different set on that puppy, Quantrick says. Yeah, um, I wasn't sure what set to put on here. I feel like GMK camping would look nice when it, whenever it ships. Um, I was thinking of putting this burgundy on my Alice when it comes, but this won the popular vote today. Jayen, did he also lube the switches too? No, these switches are not lubed, they are stock. So I'm gonna be giving these novel key creams, which is a test run for about a week, unlubed. Um, and then next week I will desolder it, lube the switches, rebuild it back. Um, yeah, so I can kind of get a feel for both. Complementary colors not matching. <laughs> I see Kitsune. I really like Calm Depths more than I like Ocean Dolce. The colorway just looks so much nicer with SA caps. Yeah, Calm Depths looks nice too. Andrew Wood from over at YouTube. Do you prefer the SA feel over GMK? No, I think I prefer GMK over SA. Oh, Franco, I didn't realize the stream was coming from Twitch. I've been watching on YouTube. Yeah, I, I am currently streaming to both because I can. I'm not sure if I will be allowed to later on, if I ever become an affiliate or partner, but yeah. Okay, so this is the final build with the cable. It's focusing on the, um, this LED light strip, very cool. It has the gold CA66 badge here looks yeah i really like the way the ca66 looks it has a 
cornice, which I found out is this little holder thing. Can you put your phone there? No. Put a keycap holder there. Okay, I will give you guys a better typing test now. set up properly nice it's working uh, I'm gonna turn off the song okay I see Kitsune typing on SA is IMO inferior to cherry but the sound profile of SA is nice yeah I do agree with that wholeheartedly generics draft thoughts on SA Nautilus versus GMK um, both look pretty good in my opinion. I did own GMK Nautilus at one point, um, but I, I let it go just because I personally didn't own any boards that I thought matched well with the colorway, but the Nautilus colorway is very nice. Um, as for between SA and GMK, I think both look pretty good. I think it looks good in SA as well. Okay, so a short typing test. Here we go. What the? I think that has been the best run so far live on stream but yeah there you go first typing test get the lube boys hopefully it's hypro done right da -da 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 -da. okay poly zoo hey glad you can make it hey nathan tuning in a bit late i was wondering what your initial thoughts on the ca66 now that you finished it this is a great board um it does let me switch over back the stream. Yeah, so it is a, oh crap, I had the entire browser on, huh? I forgot to have my hands on. <laughs> um, it does attract fingerprints a little bit more than I would like, but overall, definitely happy with the purchase. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a reason why the round one was so popular for this board. It's an amazing board. It is hollow, as you can tell from the typing test. So um, I think it is. you should definitely th think about what switches you're going to put in here first. Um, I'm, if you're using something like a clicky or tactile, maybe the hollowness, you can use it. You can take advantage of it. Um, but for a linear like this, I would definitely recommend filling it up. Should I redo the typing test with the fingers? Yeah, sure, why not? It's a new switch. Let's do it again. Um, if I could bring it up. Oh no, what happened to it? Okay. I will redo the typing test for you guys. Turn the mic again so it picks up the sound slightly better. 
And like I say, as always, this mic is not the mic I use for my typing tests. It is actually a pretty bad mic, but I use it for streaming at least. Looks like chat moved up a lot. Uh, uh, I see Kitsune. One thing I don't think I've asked, what's your preferred plate material for linears in terms of feel and sound? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, in terms of sound, I honestly prefer brass for any switch. Um, but feel, feel, I, I do think I like a stiffer bottom out for linears at least. Mm, so I would probably say either brass or stainless steel. Yeah. Uh, okay. I lost where I was on chat. Um, Noble tick sounds good. The car Dom, those sound really good for stock switches. So I actually, oh, I forgot to take off my headphones again while typing. Um, yeah, I mean, I also can't tell because it is hollow. I do like the way the space... They, they sound decent. I think vintage blacks definitely still sound better than these. Linears for life. Berry boy. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Man, I hope I can type English as fast as you do. I'm pretty sure you type faster in your language, no? <laughs> Jayun, I used to use GMKs, but I really feel the PBT plastic makes a huge difference on the sound, say, versus enjoy PBT. Enjoy PBT is PBT. Um, but yeah, I do definitely agree. PBT makes a big difference on sound. Stefan Tran, what headphones do you use from over at YouTube? Um, I use Sennheiser HD XX. Use BSP. So I did get a set from Massdrop from their latest drop. I'm just waiting for it to ship so I could try it on. Noble Tick, what switches do you type the fastest on? Ooh, that is a good question. I don't know what switch I've set m my record in. I want to say I might type faster on tactiles than linears. Jennifer Kim from over at YouTube. Hello, hey. Jay Renox, what is your favorite case material for typing sound and feel? No, it depends. <laughs> um... I would say as much as I have been liking acrylic and PC, well, PC I haven't tried. No, I have tried, just kidding. As much as I have been liking them a lot recently, I think aluminum still does sound better. Jonathan Durham, did you use lube in the creams? No, these are completely stock. Zeo PC hollow reverbs. Yeah, I'm definitely going to fill this up later on. <laughs> but the stream has hit the two hour mark, so probably getting late for a lot of people as well. 
how smooth is Enjoy PBT versus Topra High Pro? I think Topra High Pro is smoother. Enjoy PBT, you can feel a lot of that um, texture. I think, if I recall. It's been a while since I used Enjoy PBT. Yeah, JU and Topra High Pro is, in your opinion, is one of the nicest caps in general. I definitely agree. BSP weighs more than EB EPBT2? Yeah. Which I think contributes a lot to its sound signature and feeling as well. These Chinese characters, I'm guessing it's Midori from what you're saying. Irene thinks Topra High Pro is just expensive. MT3. SMH, Irene. <laughs> I prefer EPBT by a lot. It's just the options are very limited. Yeah. I see Kitsune, did you get any tangerines? Yes, I did. I am looking forward to them. I see Kitsune, Zeal, can you find more palm sets? Oh, yes, please. Please find more palm sets, Zeal. Or or start manufacturing them somehow. I will I will buy palm sets off you forever and I will show them forever. <laughs> Palm white jellies. You know, I, I honestly wouldn't mind just more black, all black blank palm sets if the compatibility is improved as well as the availability slash price. You know, if you put, I think it was um, Respones who I met at the NorCal meetup, mini meetup, he had jelly palm, or not jelly palm, he had a all black palm set on I think it was an all black Singa. I could be wrong. But yeah, that looks really stealth and <clears throat> really nice. Okay. Um, that is it for this build stream. Any final questions, comments, concerns for you guys? Yeah. Respones has some really nice boards. And thank you, Icy Kitsune, for opening up my eyes to palm zeo pc cherry og palm feels so good yes i agree they have been my latest craze as of late i see kitsune i think he even said that was his best build in his own opinion yeah i mean i don't know if you remember but i legit he came kind of late so he had his whole table he had a table dedicated to himself with all his singas and whatnot and i i think his board was the one I typed on for the longest. I legit just sat there. I felt it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I legit just typed on a Singa or whatever board it was with the black blank palms. Yeah. I th if I remember correctly, they were 55 gram Vint Blacks with 205 grade zero. And man, I, I, I honestly wanted to just steal that board. <laughs> 83282, how can you type with nails, long nails? Yeah, it is getting slightly longer. Um, it is getting time to cut them soon. It's not too long. If I can focus. Yeah, I don't think it extends past the tip. It's like right at the tip of my fingertip right now. Generic giraffe, Chargeo, it's 2 a.m. here. Oh, yeah. Have a good night, my friend. I see Kitsune, he'll be glad to hear that and probably be wary around you at the next meetup. Yeah, he, he was watching the stream earlier, I think. It's probably getting late for him too. <laughs> Pretty hands. Thank you. Nail cutting stream. No, I should end the stream soon. I, I try to keep my streams short. Don't think people want to stay around for too long, but still maintaining 50 viewers. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Um people are still here uh, oh I do have an update actually uh, let me switch so showing my product again um, GMK mr. sleeves add-on kit is live guys make sure to join if you guys like the set obviously if you guys don't oh wells um, but there is an update so initially the Z Frontier link that I had, um, this one, was specifically just for China, apparently. 
um, and it was brought to my attention through Geek Hack. Um, so Z Frontier has fixed that. It is also up on their international website variant of it. So for people in Korea, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, or other Asian regions, there is a new link for it now. So yeah, I don't know how many viewers are watching from those regions, but the link is fixed. So be sure to purchase it from there as well. The power of Yogg. Yes, we are probably going to end soon. Are you still lubing switches? Berry boy, hey, glad you could make it. Greg White, GMK or EPBT and why? Um, for me, as of now, GMK for me. Um, just because of the color. Yeah, I care a lot about the aesthetics of my board. <clears throat> mm. I do. I would. I do want to say that I like the sound signature of PBT better though. But yeah. Um, GMK Nathan is live, so it will be live until September 21st, so be sure to join by then. Okay, um, looks like no more. Any final thoughts, questions? Zeal PC, Palm sounds better than PBT. Ooh, okay, I haven't done a dir direct comparison of that. Dude... Boy man from over at YouTube, how long have you been into mechanical keyboards? Um, so I want to say it first started when I purchased my the first board, the first the, like nice mechanical keyboard that I ever purchased was the Real Force 104 High Pro, um, and I believe that was around I want to say three years ago. Um, and then I've, I, do I dove kind of really deep into Topra for about a year. Um, and then as for customs, I haven't, I, I've always lurked on Mechanic RMK, but I guess in terms of actually like building and experimenting with things, it's been since last year. Yeah. I've been a long time lurker um, and only just recently started being active in the community, I guess. Greg White, would you consider running a custom cubic set? Probably not. I haven't tried cubic, so I also don't know what that feels like. Sudden Zenith, what a good choice to start. Yeah. But you know, honestly, because I started out with Topra, I didn't realize how good it was until I tried out the other stuff out there. Yeah. Adrept, you missed the stream. I'm sorry to hear. <laughs> um, the VOD should be up pretty shortly though, depending on how fast YouTube processes this two-hour video. The power of Yogg, do you still have the feel with the Holy Pandas? Yes, I do. Oh, I was thinking. So I, I got PP... What is it? Uh, PPS keycaps recently. I'm thinking of maybe putting it on the Holy Panda to see what it sounds like. Well, who knows how big of a difference it might have. iFusion5194 uh, No, I, I, I don't have any affiliation with GMK <laughs> I just decided to run my set with GMK just because that is my preferred um, manufacturer right now, as I guess ZOPC IC Kitsune Yeah, I mean, I, I do know PPC PPS sounds like cancer and I mean, it hasn't really kicked off probably because most people don't like it but for the memes, you know Want to know what my feel would sound like with Holy Pandas, with PPS. Okay, I think this is a... Uh, one more thing, Sudden Zenith. What did you do to your HHKV spacebar to make it as silent as it is? I just lubed the stabs and put a silence x-ring on it. Shattered eardrums. Just don't rub any keys together, I see Kitsune says. We'll keep that in mind. Yeah, they're still, they, they came in like these, uh, it has a tray, so it isn't, it's not in like a bag just being shaken together. Okay, so yeah, once again, huge shout out to um, Mike from Novel Keys for allowing me to play around firsthand with these uh, cream switches. 
Um, initial impressions, they they feel pretty good once now that I finally built it. Um, yeah, stock. Like these feel really smooth. Like they they feel like they're almost even lightly lubed. Yeah, initial impressions, I have been liking it. Gonna break these in and test them out for about a week. Do another another build stream, then desoldering it. And then, actually, I don't know if I need to re-stream rebuilding the same board, but just lubed. But uh, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Okay. Um, if that's it, then I hope everyone has a good rest of the night or morning, depending on where you are. Um, I will try to stream again maybe this Saturday or Sunday. So yeah, be on the lookout for that as well. Thank you so much guys for watching and until next time, see ya nerds.